Hello, hello, my friends. I have another candle review for you today. We're going to be talking about Hallmark's Frozen Rainbow Pop. Full disclosure, before I get into this review, this candle was sent to me in PR from Slatkin & Co. And I thank them very much for doing that. However, if you guys have been with me and have watched a lot of my reviews, you guys know that just because I have an affiliation with a brand or receive PR, that really does not, um, I would say, have an effect on which direction my review will go. So this candle has the standard wraparound full photo label. I think that this is a really fun label to be honest with you guys. And the lid on this one um, is, I'll go ahead and put it in the picture here, but it's like this white lid um, and it looks really pretty in the packaging. I think this one makes like a like a fun type of gift to give. I think that this was called the like nostalgic treats collection. It's been out for, I want to say about a month and a half, maybe two months now on the Slatkin & Co website. This is their standard four wick 18 ounce vessel. This candle has a pour date of December 4th, 2023. Uh, December 4th is actually my son's birthday. So that one was a little bit easier for me to remember. Let's go ahead and talk about the fragrance notes of this candle. Fragrance notes here are icy grape, summer berries, caramelized sugar, and vanilla. Now those are the fragrance notes that are listed on the bottom of the candle. The Slatkin & Co website lists top notes of icy grape, mid notes of sugar, bottom notes of caramel, and vanilla. So um, this one, unlike some other candles that I have reviewed, actually they just, they kind of tell you where you know, like where the fragrance notes fall in terms of top, middle, and bottom, whereas sometimes the fragrance notes that are listed on the bottom of the candle are completely different than the ones that they list as top, middle, and bottom notes. So what does my nose smell? Definitely the grape note for sure is the most um, predominant, I would say. Um, it is a grape forward candle, which is a little bit interesting because when, when we were given the option, so pulling back the curtain a little bit, uh, the Hallmark's ambassadors, I don't know if it's all of us, but I, I know when we are offered PR, um, oftentimes they will notify us through, uh, the third party that they use and they will give us offerings and they'll say, go ahead and pick two candles of maybe there will be like five of them listed. And I of course went with this candle because it was new. I know that this fragrance has not been out before, but the interesting thing is, is that we're actually not, a, we don't see the fragrance notes. So we're just kind of going off of what we think it might be like. And so I thought, you know what? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a try. Even though truth be told you guys, these type of like really sugary popsicle, um, cotton candy, berry slushy type of fragrances usually are not really my jam. But I thought, okay, I want to go ahead and review this for everybody. And I'm going to tell you guys, I don't hate this fragrance. Um, do I think that this is a candle that I will repurchase? No, uh, the fragrance isn't really up my alley. Um, I will tell you that if you are somebody who does not like grape fragrances, then you should probably steer clear of this one because it is very much that candied artificial grape type of scent. There is there is an accord in here. I do believe that it is probably the summer berries mixed with um, the sugar. I don't really detect caramel, to be honest with you guys. Like there's nothing really like buttery or rich about this fragrance. And really, I don't even really smell much of the vanilla in here because vanilla would kind of give it more of a creamy consistency. And I don't smell that either. This is very much like an icy popsicle, which is what the fragrance says that this is on this candle, right? I mean, that's what they're going for. And I do think that they did that pretty well. Do I think of like a frozen rainbow pop when I smell this? No, it smells like a grape popsicle to me, to be honest with you guys. That being said, the grape note, it's not overly like, it's not Dimetap, it's not children's cough medicine type of grape. Um, it's just an artificial grape scent that you would find in a popsicle. And therefore I think that they hit the nail on the head in terms of looking for a sugary popsicle type of fragrance. There is something about this that, that makes it, uh, the reason I keep saying popsicle is because there is something in here. There is an accord that makes you think of a very cold, refreshing type of treat more so than just like, uh, like I said, it's not a grape cough syrup. There's not a, um, even more than like a grape soda or something like that. There is something that makes me definitely think about a popsicle on here. So um, 
But the fragrance itself, you guys, is not really one that I love and will repurchase. Will I finish burning this candle? Yes. Currently, I am actually pairing it with another Hallmarks candle, the Valencia Orange, which over time, I have come to believe that that is a like almost like a twin sister to uh, the Orange Creamsicle scent. Maybe lacks a little bit of the creaminess that was in Orange Creamsicle. But anyways, I've been burning those two, um, this one and that one alongside each other. And I do think that they complement each other really well. It kind of tones down the grapeness, I guess, of this candle. I will say that the fragrance is a little bit nostalgic for me. It does remind me a little bit on Cold Sniff of um, almost like the bubblegum machines that we had when we were kids, but it's not like, it, this is not a bubblegum fragrance, but this is a fragrance that I have smelled in my childhood and I'm not exactly sure where I smelled it. So fragrance is just, it is what it, I don't want to say it is what it says it's going to be because it doesn't remind me of a rainbow popsicle. There's no creaminess to it, but in terms of that popsicle effect, yes, that is what this is. And if you like great fragrances and you like popsicles, then I think you'll like it. For me, it's going to be a one and done, but I am really thankful that they did send this to me so that way I could review it all for you guys. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the performance of this candle. So this one has been lit for about three hours now, and I am going to extinguish it after this review because you can see that the wicks are leaning a little bit. Now, I have not lost any wicks on this one. I do extinguish my candles with a wick dipper, so I'm not really too concerned that the wicks are leaning because I will stand them back up after I extinguish the wicks, but I do know that that annoys some people. This candle pulled out really well without the assistance of a hurricane, so that is always good. Strength and throw on this one. Uh, this is a pretty strong performer, you guys. I would give this one without a hurricane on it. This one's a solid eight, I would say. It's a medium, I would say it's like that, it's medium high and on a scale of one to 10. Now, if you want the, um, the specifics of my home, age of my home, the environmental factors, I do have all of that listed in the description box down below for you guys. So that way, um, if you want to know how I come to that assessment, you will know. But um, yeah, this one's about an eight. Um, if I put it into a hurricane, it's a solid nine. Um, I will say that the hurricane intensifies it, not to the point where it would be a 10 and it throws into every room of my house. But if I anchor this one in my living room, it definitely permeates throughout the entire open concept living room. It throws into my kitchen and I can even start smelling it into the hallways going towards the bedrooms. So um, pretty strong performer for me, you guys. I'm not having any like pooling out issues. The wax is still staying pretty clean. Um, there's no, I mean, if there is any wick residue, these are self-trimming wicks. So I personally do not trim my Hallmark's wicks. And I find that I get the best performance out of them. I have found that if I uh, trim my Hallmark's wicks in the, I would say within the last year, if I do that, sometimes I run the risk of getting the puny wicks and I, I don't want to be dealing with that. So overall, you guys, I'm going to give this candle, um, if you want a grape popsicle type of fragrance, I would give this one two thumbs up. The only reason that I would like give a thumbs down, but I don't even feel like that's a fair thing to do is just because the scent, the scent preference is not really mine. Like this is not a fragrance that I generally gravitate towards, but it's a nice change up here in the summertime and I don't hate it, but it's not one that I just see myself wanting backups of. So, um, but it is, it is a good candle. And in terms of performance, this has probably been one of the more, um, I would say that this has been one of the stronger performing Hallmarks candles that I have had this year. So for that reason, I get, for those reasons, I guess I could say two thumbs up. Um, I am actually filming this review the day before Memorial Day. So, um, I always, I always feel like it's kind of a strange thing to say happy Memorial Day because Memorial Day is actually taking the time to reflect on the men and women who have given the ultimate sacrifice in service to our country. Um, but I do know that there are um, a lot of Memorial Day sales going on this weekend, one of those being Homeworks. Um, I do believe that their sale will still be going on through at least Monday. Um, I just checked my email and I do believe that they will be offering free shipping on Monday in addition to their two for 42, three for 60 deal that is going on. That is what this candle is currently part of during that Memorial Day sale. However, if you are watching this review after the sale is over, 
don't ever fret you guys hallmarks seems to run sales quite often um, and another sale will always come along i do have a discount code with the slack and co website it is katie's joyful life it'll save you 15 percent on orders over 40 dollars i do know that it cannot be used with the like buy two for 42 or buy three get you know buy three for 60 or anytime there's like a buy one get one 50 percent off or buy three get three the discount codes usually cannot be combined with those. However, if these candles ever go on like just a discounted price, say they knock them down to like $22, $23, then usually you can use um, ambassador discount codes with those. Be aware that that is an affiliate discount code that is available um, or eligible for commission. So I do thank you if you choose to use it, but please only use that if you are comfortable. Um, let me know in the comment box down below. Have you guys purchased this candle? What has your experience been? I know a lot of people are really enjoying this one. Um, uh, so if you if you really enjoy it, make sure you let us know in the comment box down below. Um, please hit thumbs up if you found this video helpful. It helps me out with the old YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you're new. I like to talk about a lot of candles here on my channel. I do dedicated reviews like this one. I have empties, hauls, and everything in between. So if you like candle content, I think that you'll like sticking around here on my channel. I do want to say thank you so very much for spending your time here with me today. And until my next one, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.